The Metasploit framework is an all-in-one exploitation tool that can be used to craft attacks against remote systems by combining pairs of exploits and payloads. To access it, enter the command MSF console from the command line. Now I'm going to demonstrate just how easy it is to use Metasploit to exploit a discovered vulnerability. So we'll refer back to our previous section where we discussed how to discover vulnerabilities on a system. And we'll look at the results that we found in our Nessus vulnerability scan. And we'll select our Windows system here. And then I'll select a vulnerability that I know is exploitable within Metasploit. And notice in the description that it does tell us that execution of this exploit will allow you to execute arbitrary code on a remote system. And here in the vulnerability information, it tells you that it is exploitable with Metasploit, and it even gives you the description of the exploit that needs to be used. So we'll copy that description. And then we'll switch back over to our Metasploit Framework console. And then we'll search for that description. And there it is. So then we just need to copy the path for that exploit. And then enter the command use, followed by that path. Then show options, and configure any options that need to be configured. So we'll set our remote host to the IP address of our target system. Then show options again to verify that that change was made. and then show payloads to see what different payloads we can pair with this exploit. And all of these are just different code that we can execute on the remote system by taking advantage of the exploit that it's paired with. So we'll go ahead and execute a bind TCP shell. So set payload and then paste the path of the payload that you choose. And then show options. And as you can see by the options of the payload, it is going to launch that TCP shell on port 4444. So then use the command exploit to launch the attack against our remote system. And there you have it. We receive an interactive shell on our target system. So now we'll perform a similar attack on a Linux system. So we'll search for the description of the exploit that we want to use. So Java RMI server. And then copy the path of the exploit. Then use, followed by that path. Then show options. And then we'll set our remote host to the target IP address. And then show options again. And as you can see, our remote host address has been updated. So then we'll show payloads. And this time we'll select a meterpreter shell. And then we'll use set payload followed by the path of that payload. And then show options. And once again, this will be opening our shell on port 4444. And then exploit to execute it. And now we have our interactive interpreter shell on our remote system. So that's the basics of using Metasploit in order to exploit vulnerabilities on target systems.